Well, aviation industry expert and President Aircraft Owners Association of Nigeria, Dr. Alex Woba, joins us now from our Lagos studios. Thank you so much, Dr. Alex, for joining us on Newsnight. I mean, let's begin by those very strong uh, demands by AON at that hearing today. Uh, speaking, Mr. Allen Oyema, on behalf of the association, he is demanding license to import fuel. How feasible is that? And where is that done in any part of the world? Uh, thank you for having me on, uh, on the show this evening. Um, the industry is under a tremendous amount of pressure. A few months ago, the uh, fuel prices were about 280 290 naira at that point, it was costing the airlines about 40% of the operating cost. Today, it exceeds it. Essentially, airlines are subsidizing the cost of travel for the average Nigerian. Uh, on the issue of importing fuel, uh, the facts remain that the price of fuel in the international market is about $1.06, which is, at the current exchange rate is about 599 naira. So you have a price close to 600, which is where the uh, in the prices here within the local market, not considering the shipping costs. So granting a license to airlines to import fuel will not reduce the price. We have to look for a different formula to addressing this issue. I mean, when uh, the airlines are asking for a license to import fuel, do the airlines uh, even have the capacity to store this uh, Jet A1 in the event that they actually are given the license? How realistic? Uh, really is it and uh, what would be the more sustainable you know solution or measure to keep the airlines not just afloat uh, but to continue to be in business uh, the airlines have the resources, as the uh, CEO of uh, Airpiece indicated. The companies have spent hundreds of millions of dollars buying airplanes, so it shouldn't cost any fraction of that to buy air, uh, buy jet fuel. There's the joint user storage facilities at the airport, so that fuel can be stored in that facility, which is what the importers are currently using. So it is visible for airlines to import them, but that doesn't solve the problem. The problem is solved by the fact that the Naira is where it is. I mean, if you look at the exchange rate of the Naira relative to the real price of the product at the source, you find that the problem is the exchange rate of the Naira. So if the government is looking now to subsidize jet fuel the way we do for petrol, maybe that's a solution, and it's probably the only short-term solution. Solution. Will subsidized fuel give any respite at this point in time? Um, the NNPC boss, Melikiari, after a closed door session, did say uh, in the next three days they would look to the prices for the aircraft or the airline owners. Uh, some sort of subsidy, what do you think that would do? And just last week, we had the executive director of the mainstream downstream petroleum regulatory authority say, Nigeria has at least uh, fuel enough supply for to last the country at least 34 days. So is it a problem of access or is it just too expensive for the operators? There is fuel. The problem is the cost. It's very high. It's uh, increasing significantly the cost of the operations of the airlines. So uh, the fact remains that the problem is not the availability of fuel. The pro pro problem is the price. And the price is indicative of the exchange rate of the Naira against the uh, import price of the fuel in dollars. We buy fuel in dollars, just like we export uh, crude oil in dollars and import fuel in dollars, and so we exchange that, and that sets the price very high. If we don't do anything about the prices, the airfares would go up significantly, like they've indicated, a minimum of 120,000, more likely around 200,000 Naira. It's not just that the airlines don't want to do that to impact the citizens, but the reality is that there's something called price elasticity. If uh, consumers are faced with a 200,000 Naira fare, then the number of people flying would drop significantly, and that's also it damages the aviation industry. And one can only imagine what it will do to the Nigerian economy uh, as a whole. Uh, Alex Umuba, President, Aircraft Owners Association of Nigeria, thank you very much uh, for joining us on Newsnight.